So when we look at uh, the last five to six months, um, obviously the, the big story has been the, the COVID-19 pandemic. And, and like most sectors, the Canadian pulse industry has uh, had some supply chain disruptions due to the pandemic. Um, especially in the early stages uh, of, of the pandemic, we, we had a, a very limited availability of, of shipping equipment as uh, we rely, the Canadian pulse industry relies on incoming containers from markets like Asia that are then refilled with pulses and, and sold around the, the world. But supply chain disruptions aside, um, the, the global demand for, for Canadian pulses has been extremely strong over the past five to six months um, and that's reflected in, in the export data. We're actually in this crop year uh, up about 40 percent in, in lentil exports and about 20 percent in pea exports compared to this period um, last year. Uh, so that's, that's a real good news story for the industry amidst these un uncertain times. Um, that being said, we, we continue to, to face, Canadian pulses continue to face market access barriers in, in a number of, of markets, specifically uh, in the Asia Pacific. So uh, back in, in March uh, and at about early April, uh, the, the government of Nepal introduced an import ban on, on peas uh, from all origins and this, this ban was introduced without any prior warning. Um, nor did it take into consideration shipments on route. So our industry is, is continuing to, to deal with that today. Uh, there's, there's a number of, of shipments that were caught up in that and are being refused entry into to Nepal. So we continue to ask our, our government, the government of Canada, to work with their uh, uh, counterparts in Nepal to, to get this issue resolved as, as quickly as possible. And uh, of course, we continue to face barriers into uh, India, the, um, which historically was our, our largest pulse market. There continues to be an unnecessary fumigation requirement, uh, as well as um, tariffs and quantitative restriction policies implemented by Min India as they continue to, to strike a balance between uh, high prices for pulse farmers and, and affordable prices for pulse consumers. On the fumigation requirement, Canada continues to work bilaterally with India to find a science-based solution that would allow Canada to, to get an exemption from this requirement as we've proven that we can provide pulses to India that meet their quarantine requirements without the need for fumigation. But obviously this has been a, a very uh, difficult process as there hasn't been a whole lot of progress made on this since we had a commitment from both the Indian and Canadian Prime Ministers to, to solve this issue by the end of 2018. Um, but in recent months, uh, there, there's been some uh, meetings between our Minister of Trade and her counterpart in India regarding the matter. So that's uh, somewhat promising and we hope that that dialogue continues. Um, and on, on the policy side, uh, we've seen recently actually that India act, uh, reduced, temporarily reduced their lentil tariff uh, to, for all origins except the U.S. So what that shows is that India is willing to, to revise and lower these tariffs um, to, to control rising food prices. But uh, what Canada and all pulse producing countries need to do now is, is work with India to ensure that there's some predictability and transparency in how India is making these policy decisions um, so that it would allow countries like Canada um, to supply them with pulses when needed and, and obviously allow our growers to make the best uh, decisions uh, ahead of the planting season. And, and we also feel that it would help India uh, in, in ensuring food security and, and, and price stability in their own country. So, so that effort uh, is being led internationally by the Global Pulse Confederation. Pulse Canada is involved in that as they uh, partner with government groups in, in India that are involved in setting ag policy. And um, what, what the GPC is doing is, is bringing together all pulse producing countries uh, in an effort to try and improve the, the trading relationship with, with India, um, which continues to be the, the world's largest pulse consumer.